You've landed at Steno 24-7. And I thank you, everyone, for coming, subscribing, liking. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And um, let's get started. This, will be, this is from Pittman Speed Building. This is literary dictation. It's about time, huh? We can't just do um, jewelry charge and Q&A. And um, this is The Lion's Growl. This is by John Templeton Grave. Thank you, John Temple, Temple Grave. And this will be at 120 words per minute. Thank you, Pittman Speed Building as well. So, with all that being said, really quite fast, let's get on with it. I'm sure you read it by now. That's right. Every government in the world knows that the person and the property of a British subject, wherever located, must be adequately protected against injury or wrong. Failure to accord this protection invariably results injuriously to the government through whose neglect or connivance the wrong may have been suffered so inevitable is the punishment meted out to those concerned in doing violence to the rights of a British subject in the most remote and inaccessible parts of the world that the subjects or citizens of other foreign countries are, on that account, treated with a consideration often denied to the citizens of weak governments even in their home countries. What is the result of this unvarying British policy? The immunity of her subjects from injury and wrong in all parts of the world. Great Britain's reputation has been so thoroughly established in this regard that it is seldom that she is now called upon to demonstrate anew her adherence to the fixed and relentless principles upon which it is based. A Briton, wherever he may be, therefore, has a conscious assurance at all times that a great compelling and irresistible force stands ever ready to protect his person and his property or exact the uttermost in punishment and reparation for the violation of either while the same is true in a measure of other nations it is equally true of none Wherefore, a British subject is usually accorded to a fuller exercise of his rights than are the subjects or citizens of other countries. Countries more lax in the assertion of the inviolability of the persons and the property of their citizens. Thank you for watching. And happy writing.